Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today, um, today was a birthday collab for April with a Sparkles um, birthday. She's a YouTuber and on Instagram. Um, if you haven't subscribed to her, you should check out her channel and subscribe. And the collab was to recreate one of her designs and we could put our own twist on it if we wanted. So it was really fun. Um, I don't have like who all who got into it because it was like an Instagram thing I think so um but since I was doing nail art I always make a video whenever I paint my nails I make a video <laughs> so I thought I would give this to you so let me show you what I have for you today this is the design from April with the sparkle that I recreated and this is my version of it so let me show you how I did this Today I'm going to use Wave Gel's No Clean Top Coat and Base Coat. I am also going to use Capricious Island, Snow Ice, and this is a Mood Color um, Coastline. I'm going to use this Bundle Monster Plate, a, a brush, <laughs> um, Bundle Monster's Black Stamping Polish, 91% isopropic alcohol. I'll need a little dish, my monocle stamper, and my scraper. Okay, so I have um, two coats of snow ice, and um, of course I have the base coat, and then I have the top coat cured. So let's do some stamping. Put latex only at the tips of my fingers because I'm just going to um, stamp on the tips. And then I'm going to try, I'm trying to do this trick um, so that I only really get the part of the image that's actually might fit on the nail. So I'm thinking that might be less messy. So let's see, that's been working pretty good for me so far. I've done that in some other videos. Yeah. This is like a super, super messy stamping polish. I really don't even like it. Um, it's the Bundle Monster Straight Up Black. It's like super, I gotta put my finger down. It's like super, super, just really super messy. But I think they got rid of the Noir Black, which I really liked. So, okay, let's try to get another part of this image. Let's go in right over here. Sorry about my hand. And let's do that. I think that'll fit right here. Not doing too bad. <laughs> A few more fingers to go. Ugh. I'm going to turn it on an angle here, and now my plate is so messy you can't even see the image. Oh my gosh. Uh, I've got to get a different black. Well, I should I should have used my queen. So let's clean off the stamping head. Okay, here we go. So this is going to be for my thumb, and I'm going to go right here like this. Now we can see my stamping plate again. Get a bit of black right here. Scrape it. I think that should be enough for my pinky. Nope, it's not. But if I put it at an angle, then we're good. The stamping polish also looks a little on the matte side when it's dry. Um, 
But then, you know, once you put a shiny top coat over, all is good. So I'm just going to do this to all of my nails and then cure it and we'll come right back. I've got the um, Capricious, looks like Capricious Island, yeah, Capricious Island and um, Coastline on this little tin foil. And then I've got this little container here with um, my alcohol in it. I've got my little brush. So now what we're going to do is kind of make a watercolor effect on these nails by dipping the brush in the alcohol. I don't know if I'm going to get keep it all in here and give you guys a good close up. Um, so we're going to dip it in the alcohol and then just kind of swirl it into the nail polish. And it doesn't hurt it any. It um, and then just kind of dab it or brush it on. If it's too thick of a color, too concentrated, you can just add a little bit more alcohol or wipe it off. So I have the paper towel underneath here, and we're just going to color in the leaves. Kind of swirling the color around. You need very little for this and it's really, really quick. And it won't dry until you cure it. It's a good thing about gel. If I don't like the color, I could just wipe it off and try again. But I'm liking how that is looking. So. We'll move on to the next nail. Let's get you in here real close. Okay. This is my favorite technique and I created it. <laughs> so if you see anybody else using it, I'm the one who came up with the idea. I saw a bunch of people using Sharpies and I, I don't Sharpies and alcohol, and I don't know what possessed me. I think what possessed me to do it, to try it with um, gel polish and alcohol instead of the Sharpies, is I saw those smoky look nails back about a year ago, and um, they were using, what are they using? They were using acetone with regular nail polish. Um, and I thought, why? Yeah, I don't, you know, I don't like using acetone. You know, to me, that just doesn't, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it would mix with nail polish, or, you know, because that's something that eats away nail polish. So I um, did it with, um, so I did the smoky look with alcohol and gel nail polish, and it came out fine. But I think the people that were doing it were actually doing, um, they're actually usually using regular nail polish. And regular nail polish is dry so fast, though maybe that's why they were using acetone. You can do this technique with um, regular nail polish, but you have to work really, really quick and see how I'm, I can use one dab of, of nail polish and it's gonna last me the whole time that I'm doing this. You cannot do that with regular nail polish. You'll have to keep adding more dabs probably for each nail because it dries super fast. Um, but it's still workable. Anyway, so this is, so everybody was, you know, coloring in their designs with Sharpies. And I'm like, I think I can do that with gel nail polish. And oh my gosh, I just love how awesome. I love this awesomeness. Hopefully I am still in frame, yes. And this is so fast. I mean, look how fast this is. And it's kind of like coloring it in, like when you make decals, but not. Because you're coloring right on top of the design. So that way you don't have to worry about it drying up on your stamping thing and trying to get it smushed back onto your nail. So kind of like that. You know, who doesn't like something easy? You can see the light color that it turned. 
this is um this is mood changing so it's going to change from light to dark which wow this is going to be really cool cool looking so i'm just going to get rid of just going to clean the brush off in the alcohol because that'll take yep it's all gone so now we'll go in with the blue and i picked this blue just to kind of give it like a sky color so do the same thing. I'm gonna swish it around with the alcohol. We dab it off a little bit. Oops. <laughs> I want it really light. There. And then the, you know the you can use any kind of alcohol. The higher the percentage of the alcohol, the um faster it's gonna the al you know the water it's going to evaporate out, out of it or the alcohol whatever um so that's why i use the higher percentage in my nail art okay next i'm going to add the um, no clean top coat and um because it's April with a sparkles birthday. I thought I would put some of these little gems on here to kind of represent a little flower and give it a little bling. So I thought that would be really fun. Had kind of a fun look to this design. I really like this. Okay, here's my version of April's fern look, and I hope she likes it. <laughs> I, I really like how this came out. This is really awesome. It's kind of my own spin on things. I like the blue sky and and let's take a look at the color change. Here's what they look like when my fingers are cold. So that's, I, I like that color. It's like one of my favorite colors, especially for leaves. I just completely love it. So much fun. So I hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.